evaluate the integral 0 to pi by 2 log of sin x dx. We start by letting i equal to 0 to pi by 2 log of sin x dx. In order to evaluate this integral, we need the formula 0 to a fx dx equal to 0 to a f of a minus x dx. If you look at the integral 0 to pi by 2 log of sin x dx, you might be tempted to just find the integral log of sin x dx, but that you cannot find. So the only choice is use some property of indefinite integral to evaluate this integral. One of the properties 0 to a fx dx equal to 0 to a f of a minus x dx. What we do is we replace x by a minus x. So let's do something, uh, let's, let's do same thing here. We have, so i equal to 0 to pi by 2 log of sin x dx, we replace x by pi by 2 minus x. Rest of the expression we will copy as it is. We had log of sin x, now we have log of sin of pi by 2 minus x dx. That's equal to 0 to pi by 2 log of sine of 90 degree minus theta. Sine of 90 degree minus theta is cos theta. So, we have log of cos x. Once we had started with i equal to 0 to pi by 2 log of sin x, now we obtain 0 to pi by 2 log of cos x. Let's add equation 1 and 2. Adding equation 1 and 2. In left hand side of equation 1 we have i. In left hand side of equation 2 we have i. So, i plus i is 2 i's. Log of sin x. plus log of cos x. Now you know that log of u plus log of v equal to log of uv. Now, sin x 2x can be written as sin 2x by 2. Let us take 2x equal to t. Let 2x equal to t. So, when we want to change from x to t, we should change the limit as well. When x equal to 0, t equal to 0. When x equal to pi by 2, t is double of x, double of pi by 2 is pi. Further, if we differentiate, we have 2 dx equal to dt. So, we can write 2i equal to is as x is changing from 0 to pi by 2, t is changing from 0 to pi. So, this is equal to 0 to pi log of 2x being equal to t by sin t dx is dt by by 2. That implies 2i equal to 0 to pi, uh, 2 we can take out of the integral, log of sin t, again we apply property of logarithm, log of a by b equal to log a minus log b. Now, we recall another formula if f of 2a minus x equal to fx then 0 to 2a fx equal to 2 times 0 to a fx 
is that true here G 0 to pi okay first let's compute the second part this is equal to half 0 to pi log of sine t dt minus log of t is constant sorry log of 2 is constant so 0 to pi integral of log of 2 is just pi pi log of 2 by 2 now here we observe that uh, 0 to 2a fx dx is 2 times 0 to a fx dx why because f of 2a minus x equal to fx we can write 0 to pi is 0 to 2 times pi by 2 log of sin t dt minus pi log 2 by 2 a pi pi log 2 by 2 a as it is now 0 to 2 a fx dx equal to 2 times 0 to a fx b dx because f of 2 a minus x is fx sine of 180 minus theta is sine theta so this is half into 2 times 0 to pi by 2 log of sine t dt minus pi by 2 log 2 as it is 2 2 gets cancelled now this can simply be written as 0 to pi by 2 log of sin x dx because this variable t is a dummy variable after integration ultimately we have to put the upper limit pi by 2 lower limit 0 now recall that this is just the part of the question this is exact question 0 to pi by 2 log of sin x dx that we want to compute and we took it equal to i Now, if we take i to the left hand side, 2i minus i will get i equal to minus pi by 2 log 2 and we are done.